Before we talk about the tacos, let's talk about subscribe. What's your beef, homie? Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan to Some. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some chimichangas and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. What instrument is that? Today, we have yet another epic, epic episode. We're still here in Portland, Oregon, and we tried a new restaurant. Tell the good folks what it was. Story time. This is not a new restaurant for me. I was in Portland last year. I was looking for vegan Mexican and I tried this place, Chilango, 100% vegan Mexican. Used to be a food truck, opened up a storefront. I told Amir when I came back home, this is the best vegan Mexican food I've ever had. We gotta go down to Portland together and eat there together and do a review. Let's talk about interior. What's the place like? Really big, open, very light, bright the day we went. We went for lunch on a weekday and it wasn't very busy. I saw some people doing takeout though. We had pretty much wherever we wanted to sit and Amir chose this big ass round table. <laughs> Let's talk about the food we got. We started with some appetizers and then we got some tacos. We got a mini quesadilla sampler to start with. So it's three little quesadillas. Inside there's vegan cheese and their own salsas so three different kinds of salsas and then you can add fillings inside if you pay a little bit more money so i got three different fillings i got the tinga the garlicky mushrooms and the chicharron and for tacos i got four of them i got chorizos garlicky mushrooms mole and rojas con crema I got three tacos, garlicky mushrooms, the campanas, and the chorizo. What do you think of the quesadillas? I got this the last time I was here and they were so good that I had to get them again, definitely. The cheese I use, I don't know what it is, but it's so good. It melts so well and doesn't have a weird aftertaste. And I thought all the fillings were great. I was surprised by the tingas because it's jackfruit and I don't normally love jackfruit, but it was seasoned so well. It had like a sourness and a spiciness to it. And then the tofu one was really good. It had a little bit of spice to it. And garlicky mushrooms was great because I love garlic mushrooms, good combination. Thought it was delicious. What did you think? These appetizers were by far my favorite part of the meal. They were so delicious. Nice and crispy on the outside. The cheese melted really well. The ingredients inside were so, so yummy. I couldn't believe it. I loved it. It was so good. I'm glad you liked it. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom. Before we talk about the tacos, let's talk about subscribing to this channel. If you like what we do, if you like vegan content, we're the best at it, baby. You know that, we know that, but you don't know that because you haven't subscribed yet. So subscribe. Let's start with the mole. Mole is one of the most popular Mexican dishes, I think. My Mexican friends and he was always talking about mole and how much they loved it. To me, it was my least favorite. I didn't think it was that good. It was too mushy. I didn't, didn't love it. The chorizo was actually really good, very flavorful. It went really well with the, all the rest of the ingredients and the sauce that was on there. Quite enjoyed that one. The mushroom, you can't go wrong with mushrooms. When I was a kid, mushrooms were my least favorite food ever. And I can't believe that was the case. Because mushrooms are a staple now in my diet and I love them, love them, love them. Raw husk and crema was actually really good as well. It wasn't as good as the mushroom, but I couldn't, couldn't go wrong with it. Everything was really tasty. Everything was delicious. Enjoy it very much. What do you think? 
I didn't love the mole either. I know mole takes a lot of time. It's very complex in its flavors, but it was too sweet for me. I don't really love the flavor of that compared to the other fillings. Garlicky mushrooms, great. I got that as one of my fillings as well. And the chorizo, same thing. I got that as one of my fillings and it was great. And then the rajas, um, I wasn't sure about this one because bell peppers, I don't know, in a taco, I didn't think it'd be amazing, but all three, aside from the mole, tasted great. Mole wasn't bad either, it just wasn't our favorite. Yeah. Cool, and what, what did you get that I didn't get? I got the campanas, which was a mix of impossible and beyond and kind of their take on like a Taco Bell kind mm -hmm. of. Your text mix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought that was really good too, but I think my favorite ones, my favorite fillings were the garlicky mushrooms and the chicharron was actually really good in the quesadilla and the tinga was really good in the quesadilla. I quite like that one too. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong again with, with Beyond Meat and Impossible. But yeah, definitely the mushrooms, I think took the cake. We're gonna rate these tacos as a whole. You know, all the tacos, the tortillas, the fillings and salsas and cheeses, just everything together. The average, the average of them. Yeah. Mole, this one's on you. One, one two, two, three. What? It was supposed to be the average. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of all of them. No, mole is just one part of so many things we ate that it doesn't detract. I'm averaging up. Amir, would you go back to Chilangos and dine again? Absolutely. Would you go back? Of course, I've already been back. It was like my number one thing to tell Amir to try on this trip to Portland. I am so happy there's such good vegan Mexican food. I wish we had something like that in Vancouver. Honestly, it is so good. You don't need any meat or dairy in your food to have it taste so delicious. I encourage everyone to go to Chilangos if they're in Portland, even if you're not vegan, because it truly is that good. But if you're not vegan, go vegan. Orale, homie. Take a look at this restaurant we visited on Amir's face. The hair is gone. Do you like it? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Muchas gracias, senora, senorita. Senior, uh, uh, uh.